<laughs> okay, do it again, do it again. Wait, leave it for a bit. Leave it for a bit. Stop it, you bastard! <laughs> oh, God, I can smell from here. Ah, alright, alright, alright. Ready? Ready, ready? Like the, that sounds like a constipated ghost. <laughs> That's frightening. Don't touch me there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Chatting with Chums. I'm the Shadow One One. I'm here with Gap Two Six Seven One, Han Molo. And a new friend from the past, who I've never had on the show before, Hemi, um, also known as Hemi Red. He's also known as Hemi Dude, and he's going to be joining us for the first time on Chatting with Chums. Say hello. hello. Hey. How's it going, guys? Hello again. <laughs> hey. Okay. So Gab, explain where. Right so one of the things that Gab wanted to talk about in this episode is. Since it's Halloween, we gotta talk about Halloween themes. So, Gab, explain. So, basically, <clears throat> we're going to explain, um, basically talk about our childhood haunts from films, shows, or video games, or anything, really. Anything that's connected to our childhood. And it can't be actual phobias unless it, that phobia was used in a film. So, yeah. Can yep. it be the fear of long words? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but for example, just, just for the sake of example, like I'm arachnophobic in real life, um, so if there's a scene with a giant spider that scared me as a kid, I can use that as, as you know, I can talk about that. Yeah. They can use Skyrim with frostbite spiders? Yeah, I hate them. <laughs> you hate the Skyrim spiders? I don't even played Skyrim. Neither have I, but I kind of wish I had. There's actually a character who, when he meets the frostbite spiders, he then develops a phobia, and later on he goes through a mission with you, and he's like, uh, ever since that day, I've had a really bad fear of spiders. Uh, I can't go any farther. And then he just gets killed, I'm guessing. No, he just chickens out and goes back to the beginning of the dungeon. Oh, what a pussy. <laughs> I know, and he's a really big guy, too. Ah. All right. Anyway. So, Gab, why don't you start off? What Besides your fear of spiders, what else have you got that really just terrifies you to this day? Well, not necessarily to this day, because obviously a lot of these fears have gotten over. Um... One of them would have to be Christopher Lloyd's character in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, oh. Judge Doom, at the end of that film. It's the scene where he, um, you know, where he reveals that he's actually a cartoon character, but again, you don't actually see him. And then he, he's basically all flat. He just stands up, and then he goes in to inflate himself. Then his eyes pop out, oh. and he's got yeah. massive cartoon eyes. It just scares the shit out of me. Yes. Remember me, Eddie? When I killed your brother, I sound just like this. It scared me so badly. I I don't scared me so badly. I wouldn't watch that film for at least ten years. I don't blame you. It it still is kind of freaky to me. Um, I guess I'll just go down what I what I really terrified me. One of the things that really scared me as a kid, and I remember just like watch. It was like. Maybe it was when I was on YouTube. I was first time I was ever on YouTube. I found the original trailers for Alien and Aliens, and I watched them, and I was fucking terrified. I couldn't sleep for weeks, and it's, and then like I then Alien vs Predator Requiem came out. I was just like, oh, yeah, kind of kind of ruined. It kind of okay, ruined. No. It kind of ruined the Requiem? scariness. Yeah. Requiem, the biggest problem with that was they forgot to pay the light bill. Yes, they did. They never see the monsters. Mm. And I really want to see the hybrid. I yeah. really, really want to see the hybrid. And I know. It's like a shadowy figure of it. I don't know. I think the editor just like, hmm, we made a lot of mistakes in this picture. Black it out. No, it's not the editor. It's clearly the director. Oh, no, no, they, the, the of I watched behind the, the scenes of that, how they made the, f the film, and they, they had very well lit sets. They had a lot of lights and everything. It was in post. All the mistakes were done in post. 
Uh, okay, actually, uh, I'm probably going to be kicked from this call from uh, saying this, but uh, I've never seen one Alien movie. What? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I just never seen any of the movies. I'm sorry. What yeah, about I'm Predator? Yeah. I've seen anyway, who's, who's, of, uh, the game. That counts. So. Um, a- anyway, who, who else has something that has a scare that they want to mention? Uh, I guess I have one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Basically, um, you guys seen that little documentary, uh, Walking with Dinosaurs, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I know it's a fan favorite of, uh, one, of, of one of our, crap, what was it, uh, of one of our favorite Skype friends, uh, Lime, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, when I was a, uh, I loved dinosaurs as a kid. I fucking love them. Yeah. Uh, Still do. G- okay, generally, um, aren't you know, except there's this one thing that always kind of bothered me. I always, hi- always, hi- I always, uh, ran back to the couch and just kind of hide. But, um, okay, basically it's when the Velociraptors came out. You know, oh. where the, uh, let's see, I want to say iguanodons. Remember those? Like little duck build. I'm ones. trying to. Oh, it's the, it's the, um, it's the iguanodons and the dinonychus. No, no, sorry, it's the Utah raptors. Yeah, yeah, the Utah raptors. Uh, basically with the doom, doom, doom. That's my signal of just shit, hide. <laughs> uh, because those puppets, those things freaked me out when I was a kid. Yeah. No, no idea why. I, I don't blame you. Yeah. In walking with dinosaurs, the bit that scared me, well, no, I wouldn't say scared me, but it disturbed me, is the scene with the Allosaurus in the second one. It's when they're in this sort of like this valley, and there's just these baby Diplodocus just eating, and then these just these two Allosaurus just walk calmly, and then they start running for, then they start well waddling, and they just slaughter one of them, <laughs> and then uh, like this, and it comes with a Stegosaurus. Those, those things freak me out. The Allosaurus. Speaking of dinosaurs. You know what movie really, like, what movie really made me terrified of dinosaurs? I'm not going to say Jurassic Park, because uh, Jurassic yeah. Park is, is spooky, uh, the, especially the raptors, but the dinosaurs that really scared me as a kid were the carnotaurs from Dinosaur. Oh, yeah, oh those, yeah. guys. those things were fucking terrifying. Especially in the beginning. Hey. Oh, and yeah. The roar, though. Yeah, the... Ah. They don't speak. I'll have a sound effect, maybe. No. <laughs> Fail. Still, fucking cool, though. Yeah, those things... Um, what else... Oh, you guys just go off. I know. Uh, let's see. I guess I I can be next, and I'm probably the most common is a lot of courage, cowardly dog stuff. Mm-hmm. When you first watched those as a kid, some of those things were just god awful terrifying. Mm-hmm. I never got scared of them. Particularly when Curse of King Ramses came out first. Oh. oh. I that came out, I was watching that at night, and I was just a little kid, <laughs> and all of a sudden you just see this guy with flowing hair and crazy moving arms, return the slab, return the I slab. covered up in the frick, I was covered up. I don't blame you, that episode also was fucking terrifying. Nowadays when you look at it, it's like, oh, that's really funny, and the guy was really intelligent on how he did that, always adding in yeah. random bits of animation, including yeah. claymation, yeah. CGI, crew drawings. Yeah, it, it, now it's funny, but back then as a kid, wow, that stuff was fucked up. Wasn't, wasn't there another scene in Courage where there's this random blue thing that appears, and he's like, you're not perfect. Yes, you're not perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! You're not perfect. It was the episode where he had the teacher, he was like so intent on being perfect that he even imagined this teacher that would abuse him when he screwed up. Uh-huh. And at the very end of it, he falls asleep on the bed, realizing that you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. And he dreams about this beetle, alien, creepy looking thing, just CGI glowing, glow, you're not perfect. That's, okay, that's that's really scary. Oh no, so, oh, no remember um, uh, when like the little barracuda comes out of the bathtub and he goes, you're perfect just the way you are. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you bathtub fish. Yeah, thank you <laughs> for ruining my childhood. Well then there's the Roach Motel too, he was... Roach Motel is probably the one where it shows the most that he liked using different animation styles just to creep you out. Stop motion, go, oh god. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that was the only thing that freaked me out. Yeah. You know what, I'm trying to think, what, uh, I think that's, uh, talk about just, like, movies that just are also, um, I'm trying to think of a movie oh, that really watch. just screwed me up as a kid and I couldn't watch it for years. A movie I just, uh, Mars Attacks. I remember watching that movie. <laughs> the Tim Burton one. The Tim Burton, yeah, the Tim Burton Mars Attacks. I remember watching that as a kid and I could never watch a movie like, I could never watch it ever again because it just terrified the shit out of me. People yeah. getting turned into skeletons was the scariest part about it. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I, like in the like in the first Spider Man movie where um, Green Goblin threw that. Oh yeah, that too. That was like holy crap! I didn't see that coming. That scared me as a kid too. Oh yeah, he yeah. The bomb he could have used a million other times, but only used that. Yeah, one. he only chose it to use it on those people. <laughs> well, okay. Well, it, oh well, it's just not that scary anymore. It takes a yeah, <laughs> use it, use it once, and it's over. The scariness factor is over. Mm. Yeah. I have. I've got two films that used to screw me up so badly, but are still really part important parts of my childhood. One is an animated film called Watership Down. It's a film about rabbits, oh. but it's so gory. It's so gory, and you have rabbits ripping themselves apart. Oh, why? Uh, I've never heard actually, of it. I want to talk Watership Down real quick, if that's all right. Yeah, go on, go on, sure. Uh, okay, basically, uh, the reason why so many people were so scarred by that movie was because uh, I think it was released, like, maybe... It was 1977. Somewhere... It was 1977. Okay, yeah, 77. Yeah, the, the PG-13 rating didn't come out like around maybe like the very early 80s. So, so basically, that thing was rated G. Huh. And there's uh, loads of blood. I'm going to have to give it a look because I've never heard of this movie. I've never heard of it. Watch it. It is really yeah. good. Yeah, I'll yeah, have to watch it. It's, it's so, good when you're older, yeah. Yeah, I so bet. nobody decided to use the holy hand grenade in that movie? <laughs> yes, of course. The killer rabbit. Run away! Yeah, Run away! You especially love the bad guy. I think the villain of that movie is one of the most underrated villains I've ever seen. He's called General Woundwort. He's kind of like Mad Eye Moody from Harry Potter as a rabbit, but with the personality of Adolf Hitler. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> perfect combination. Best description of ever. A cartoon character I've ever heard in a while. <laughs> that's good. That's good. But that's pretty much what he looks like. So and I just last film and last film um, I want to talk about is Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal. That film was yeah. so freaky, yeah. but I loved it. Those puppets. Oh. Yeah, it was, the, it was the villains, it was the Skeksis, the, the, the vulture-like creatures. You know, the, those yeah, yeah, yeah. terrifying. And did you know, and there's, I... an, infam there's an infamous... Oh, what's going on? What? what? I, I just got... I to interrupt me. Oh. What? What? We have a new member. Who? What? We do? What's going yeah. on? What's it's going on? Oh, Lime? Mr. Krabs. Lime, what are you doing here? Speaking of dinosaurs. <laughs> hey. Um, yeah. We have I a su lunch. surprise guest appearance by Lime Feathers 84. <laughs> you interrupted me. <laughs> Lime Feathers moors his way in the battle. Yes. <laughs> we were just talking about... We gotta start wrapping up now, though. We have about three minutes left of the recording. Oh, so. shit. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, I know, Lime. You just came into our recording at the last couple minutes. Uh, so, okay, that, that, I'm going to get the machine gun. I'm going to shoot you, all of you down. No, no, don't do it. No, no, yes. no, no. No, no, I'll give you a hamburger. I'll give you a hamburger. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Here's what you can do. Got one? Yeah. Have it. You two can go into the hippopotamus's mouth and get chewed up there. And you, Han Molo, I, I, I don't. Cars. I don't want to do that, Lime. I don't want to do that. Buy my cars. No, I will never buy your cars. Fine, Han Molo, buy my cars. Oh, you know, I'm just a college student. That's all like shit. M he sounds like he sounds like M. Night Shyamalan. I'm still really new, so I don't have to do anything, right? Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Okay, okay. Like three minutes. Yeah, that's okay. So we have two minutes left. Uh, Lime, quickly name something that really fucked you up in life. Um, broken glasses. It happened very recently. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> that li no, that physically fucked you up. What mentally fucked you up? Oh, well, something, something uh, spooky. Childhood home. Hopefully, some of those really weird SpongeBob YouTube poops I've watched. Ah. Uh, okay, those those can mentally fuck you up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, we have one minute left. Let's start wrapping up. All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching Chowing with Chums, a very scary, scary, scary episode where we talk about stuff that I'm sure. I'm Lime, don't thing. interrupt me, damn it! You're interrupting me. We're wrapping up now. Right. Fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Return the slab. Return the slab. Watch your offer. Near. Hey, 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 hey! After this, after this, after this. Yeah. You want to get a cum cake? No. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for watching, chatting with chums, everyone. I'm here with Gap Two Six Seven One. Oh fuck! I hit my microphone there. I'm here with Gab2671, uh, Hemi Red, uh, Gab, uh, and Han Molo, and uh, Lime Feathers made a surprise guest appearance. I'm the Shadowed One. Thank you for watching. We'll be seeing you later. Ooh. Bye -bye. Ooh. Bye -bye. Ooh.